Hi, this is Charlie from the Law Offices of Nicholas J. Del Pizzo, and today we will be discussing slip and fall personal injury cases. What qualifies someone for a slip and fall case? Let's take a look. The first thing to remember is that you must slip and fall on someone else's property to begin a lawsuit. The owner of the property has a duty to make sure a premise is maintained and must address any issues that could cause harm or injury within reasonable means. Next. The property owner should be able to notice the condition of the property and if it could cause harm to the public. Many businesses need to abide by industry standards when providing a safe environment for the public. If the owner fails to make routine checks or make standard updates that is common within the industry, the plaintiff could have a case. Also, the property has to be considered a dangerous condition when the plaintiff slips and falls. The plaintiff has to prove that the defendant knew that there was a dangerous environment at the property and did nothing to fix the situation. This would create a hazardous area where the public would come to the property and possibly injure themselves. Lastly, in the case that a person does slip and fall on someone's property, that person must incur an injury. There must be damages done to the person for there to be any case whatsoever. There must be proof that the injury occurred on the property as well. If you find yourself injured after a slip and fall accident, document all of your injuries and contact the law offices of Nicholas J. Del Pizzo today and he will resolve your personal injury needs.